Um, yeah. How oh, I got over. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We are glad to be in the house to worship and praise God. But right now, we're going to need to pray and sing. Those two key folk are on their way, amen? <laughs> and we need to pray their way through. Dear Heavenly Father, we give you honor and glory for this day. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for making it through to December 31st, 2023. 365 days. You have allowed us to see the sun. You have allowed us to breathe in and out. Fifty-two of those Sundays, you've allowed us to come into this place to worship you. So we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done, for all that you have seen us through, for all that you have blessed and trusted us with, we pray, Lord, as we go forward into 2024, dear God, hallelujah, that you continue to shine the light and open our eyes. Now, dear God, as we begin to move forward in your worship, we pray, the Lord, Hallelujah. The vessel in which you have entrusted the word is still yet on his way. Make his path clear, dear God. Strengthen him, Lord, from head to toe. Dear Heavenly Father, and the other vessel in which you have entrusted some of the music, dear God, is on his way, Lord. <laughs> Calm his spirit, dear God. Make his way clear, open the path, turn the lights green as they both travel and journey to this place of worship. But at this time, God, we're going to give you the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. <laughs> Hey! 
and I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad, glad, glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Hallelujah. You know the tradition of the New Year's and the service, the last Sunday service, a last worship service in the year is to get up and give your testimony. You all ready? Come on. Let's testify to the goodness of the Lord for what he has done for us in 2023. Can I get a witness this morning? Come on. Can I get a witness? Don't y'all be shy. Come on now. Cause I'm a, woo, Lord have mercy. Come on now. Can I get a witness? Amen, amen, amen. Come on, is there another? Is there another? Come on now. Come on, Greater St. John. Is there another testimony for getting through 2023? Amen, 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 hallelujah. Come on now, come on now. Amen, 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 amen. Come on now. Amen, amen. All right, all right. 
Amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Come on now. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, come on. I know it's more testimonies in the house. But I 
I know that he is with me and that I can just rely on his promises and continue to do that. I thank you for my great St. John family, my earthly family, and most of all, Jesus being my Lord, my Savior, who promised never to leave me or forsake me. Amen, amen, amen. All right, all right, all right. Hallelujah. I give glory and honor to God. Oh, come on. Oh, got to let Brother Laudel speak. <laughs> I want to thank God for the many blessings that He's given me, for the protection and for the shelter on my head. I bless Him for all the things that He has done. A blessing for our church and our church family and all my uh, grandchildren and my children that protected them throughout this whole life. Amen. I give them thanks and glory. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Down through the years. Y'all got to help me with this one. Cause <laughs> down through the years. Is that it? God's been good to me. Is that it? Come on, y'all. Down through the years. God's been good to me. Come on, let me hear you. He's been good, he's been good, he's been good. One more time, down through the years, down through the years. God's been good to me, down through the years. God's been good to me. God's been good to me. He's been good. He's been good. He's been good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stand to your feet. Glory to God. Our call to worship will be led by Brother Willie Wright Jr as it is printed in your worship guide. And then our morning prayer by Brother James Hearn. And our welcome by Brother Laudel Jackson. Amen. 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 I was glad when you said unto me, let us go into the house of our Lord. Blessings are present for all who abide in the Lord's house. Because of the house of the Lord our God, I prosper. For the Lord's house is his holy temple, the place of his honor and glory. Take, Take care to acknowledge his presence. Lord, you are my strength and my salvation. May the words from my mouth and in my heart be pleasant to you. Come, let us be joyful in our worship and sing praises to our God, for he has done marvelous things. Amen. You may be seated. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, yes. bless his holy name. Let us prepare our hearts and minds to approach his throne in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, this community of believers come before your presence this morning those, with those in Zoom Sanctuary to thank and praise your name for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for Jesus, for his word, power, and Holy Spirit changes lives. 
I'm grateful my life was changed through his blood was shed on Calvary's cross, on God, God the hill. We thank you, we praise you for life. We thank you for the greater St. John and his mission. We thank you for the ministerial staff. We continue to ask your continuous blessings on the pastor and her dwelling. Yeah. We pray for those that mourn, they shall be comforted. We lift up our extended sick list to you for you to bless in your own way. We pray for those individuals locked up behind prison bars. We pray for the heads of government, those in high and low positions. We thank you for this period of life. We thank you and praise and glorify your name. We ask you to look down upon us in our afflictions and our pain and forgive us all our sins, we pray. For you have kept us from January 1, 2023 to this present time, this 31st day of December. 2023. We do not know what the future holds, but we certainly know who holds the future. So teach us to know our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom while we petition thee at the foot of the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ and for our sakes, this is our prayer. Amen. The seven principles. Pause. We must unity to to strive for and maintain unity in the family, community, nation, and race. Who do you try to lay on self-determination? 
to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. Ujima, collective work and responsibility, to build and maintain our community together and make our community's problems our problems and to solve them together. Ujama, cooperative economics, to build and maintain our own stores, shops, and other businesses and to profit from them together. Nia, to make our collective vocations, the building and development, developmenting our communities in order to restore our people to their traditional greatness. Humbai, humbai, creativity. To do always as much as we can to leave our community more beautiful and beneficial than we inherited it. Imani, faith, to believe with all our hearts and our people in the righteousness and victory of our struggle. And that was the seven principles of Kwanzaa. As we continue to celebrate yearly, we want to remind you that Kwanzaa is a celebration of us, of Black folks. We want to remind you that it's not just a celebration, but it's about the community, us, us being productive, us being a part of one, us being the body of Christ. But truly, Kwanzaa just didn't start, just happens at. It's because of the God we serve. We came over many years and God was with us. And as we go forward, God will continue to be with us. So I ask that you share Kwanzaa and the principles with your children and grandchildren as we continue to grow. Amen. Thank you. Hey, man, let's give my white people a hand. Okay. 
Uh -huh. I don't know what she did. The church say amen. Yeah. It is indeed good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Yeah. To our pastor, the Reverend Georgetta Glover, our first gentleman, Brother Victor Glover, our officers, our members, and those that may be visiting, I greet you this morning with the joy the love of Jesus. God is so good. God is so good. I'm going to say it one more time. God is so good. Yes, he is. You know, I'm going to go back to actual house. No, I just want to show Our scripture lesson for this morning will be taken from the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter. Just the 19th verse. And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Jesus Christ. And my God will meet all of our needs according to his riches. Oh, yeah, that's me up there. In glory in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Church, I won't be long, <clears throat> but there's so much to say about our God and about the end of the year. So I want you to repeat after me our topic for the morning off of this scripture. Just simply say, I'm still here. I'm still here. Don't forget that. I'm still here. And, you know, when we say that, we have to be personal about it. Because I can talk about you still being here or somebody else still being here. But when God has touched your life, you're able to say, I'm still here. What Paul is saying here is God promises that as we participate in the ministry of the gospel, will be blessed. As we participate. You're not talking about no bench members. You're talking about participating in the ministry. And it's not just about money. It's about how well we live our lives and how well we spread the good news. As we participate, we will be blessed. My God will supply or meet all of our needs. 
The question is, we have to look at what we need and what God says we need. As we come to the end of the year and as we look back, he has supplied all of our needs. Maybe not in the manner that we think he should have supplied them, but they were supplied. All right, you see, sometimes we look to the left and he sends it from the right. Sometimes we look to the right and he'll send it from the left. Sometimes we make a mistake to look behind us uh, and he'll put it right in front of us. But he will supply all of our needs. And as we come to the end of the year, if we don't say anything else, we ought to praise him by saying, I'm still here. I'm still here. When we participate, we participating by we participate by making a pledge through the storm, through the rain, through sickness and pain for the rest of my life. I will serve him forevermore. Participate, spreading the good news. Participate. Because it never gets old that Jesus Christ is Lord. Participate. Because we have so much to talk about what God has done for us. Individually and collectively. I heard Sister Deborah when I was coming up the stairs talking about the health challenges. We all have them at some point in life. They can knock us down. They can knock us off our point. But God will supply all of our needs. And even as we participate, we have to listen and do what needs to be done to maintain ourselves. We may not walk like we used to walk. Well, I can't do as many push-ups as I used to do. I can't walk up some stairs sometimes. Uh, I have to back down when I go down sometimes. But guess what? Well, I'm still here. Yeah. I may not sing like I used to sing. Some of us don't shout like we used to shout. Well, hmm. come on now. But we pray yeah. like we used to pray. Yeah. All right. I want to pause for 30 seconds. And individually, I just want you to close your eyes and just think about the goodness of the Lord through this year. Whether you were up whether you were down, whether somebody had passed away, whether the doctor had given you some bad news, whether you were sick and you got well, concentrate on that because you're still here. Think about it. God is good. God is good. Looks beyond our faults and he sees our needs. He knows you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. God is good. When you were in pain, huh? his grace was sufficient. When you didn't know which way to go, he was right there beside you. We're still here. Yeah. We're still here. As I stated, our, our, our needs can be different from what God says our needs are. But however, he looks at us. He'll look beyond our faults and he'll see our needs. Repeat after me one more time. I'm still here. I'm still here. So there's so much on this last day of the year to be thankful for. I'm still here. So much has happened to us individually and collectively. So much has happened that nobody knows with you sometimes. Or you only share with a few people. Those of you out in, in, in Zoom land. 
God has blessed us immensely and we're still here. We're still here. And as we come on this morning, we can testify that, testify to that. What this basically is saying, I will never forsake those who seek me. I will never forsake those who seek me. And the Bible says that he diligently rewards those who seek his face. Yes, yes. Have you sought him enough this year? Well. When you were going through, did you call everybody but God? Mm. When you thought it was the end of the world or you felt like you had the weight of your world on the shoulders, did you call everybody but God? When you look back over this year, you see that one set of footprints in the sand. Do you realize that's when God carried you? I'm still here. You're still here. He said he would never forsake us. He will provide for our financial, our physical, our mental, and our spiritual needs. He has and will continue to do that. As we close this year, oh, huh, think of his goodness to you. Think of his goodness. I went out the other night to the grocery store, and I learned that I have to start going when it's light outside. Amen. Especially walking with a cane now. Because so many things can happen. And I realized trying to get to the car, as people walked by, there was this one young man who kind of circled and circled. And I was weary of him. I watched him. And then he walked up to me. And he said, are you done with that electric car? And I said, yes, I am. He said, my grandmother needs it. I said, take it, young man. But we never know mm -hmm. what might approach us. Where so I made up my mind and I told Glenn, my wife, don't let me go out this house no more when it's dark outside. Mm -hmm. I can't stop you. Yes, you can. <laughs> you see, we have to be aware of our surroundings so that we can make the testimony that I'm still here. Yeah. We can't continue to put ourselves in those positions that will make us, that will be harmful to us individually and collectively. Well, we can stand on the last day of the year, on the first Sunday, on the second Sunday, on a Friday night, in a prayer meeting and just say, I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still here. The answer prayers. The mental stress, they're gone. The physical ailments that may be with us. But the word says his grace mm -hmm. is sufficient. Yes, is. His grace mm -hmm. is sufficient. Yes, is. You might have a thorn in your side, but his grace yes. is sufficient. Yes, is. The physical, the spiritual, we have the victory through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're still here. Yeah. We're still here. God will give us what we need from his unlimited resources. Mm -hmm. See, when he says, according to my riches and glory, that means according to everything I got. Amen. And what we ain't got, he got. But because he is who he is, we got it. I'm going to say that again. Because he got what he got. He got everything. And because we don't have it, we have it anyway because he is and he's ours. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. God will give us what we need from his unlimited resources. You don't know? Ask God. Yeah. Don't believe? Tell somebody yeah. to ask God. Don't understand? Mm -hmm. Ask God. But even the word says, lean not unto your own understanding. But in all your ways, 
acknowledge him. And he will direct thy path. Proclaim even in the middle of the storm that he is, as Hebrews said, a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So as we close this year and move into the next year, seek him. And remember, you can say, I'm still here. The songwriter put it best when he sung these words. The enemy tried to drown me, flooded my life up with misery, but God wouldn't let it. He wouldn't take me down. He rescued me to higher ground. Now that same old enemy tried to destroy me. Yes, he did. With fiery darts, Lord, that I could not see. Sometimes you don't see it coming. Fiery darts, I could not see. But my God wouldn't let it. He wouldn't let it get me down. He sent his angels and they were camped all around. Now, look at me now. I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still here. I made it through, ha, and so have you. We've been through the fire. Ha, yeah. We've been through the storm. Yeah. I'm still here. Yeah. Blessed. 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 Yeah. Blessed beyond measure. Blessed. When I look back, the things that could have happened, and in some ways, according to the devil, the things that should have happened. You know, every now and then, I think of Job. And I wonder if God had that conversation about me. Take my servant, take my servant Stephen. And let's see what happens. You ever felt that way? Something happened and you say, God, are you testing me? Are you trying to get me to, to, to show the devil I won't curse you? But I'm still here and I stand on solid ground. Let him take you. Let him mold you. Let him make you. Mm -hmm. If you have to go to the potter's house again, he'll fix you. Yeah. I'm still here. Yeah. I made it through because of God and his infinite wisdom, his infinite knowledge, his infinite love, and his infinite forgiveness. He looks beyond our faults. Mm -hmm. He looks beyond our flaws. Because anybody sitting who says they don't have a flaw, that's your first flaw. We're still here, church. We made it through. And while we've had some battles this year, while we've lost some saints this year, while we've had to say goodbye to loved ones, while we have our own physical ailments, some have financial ailments, Mental ailments, mm. but our God yes. is a just God. Yes, is. Our God is a good God, yes, is. and we're here, and we can say mm -hmm. all day long, all year long, "I'm still here. Yes. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still here." The doors of the church are open. We ask if there is one here without a church home who does not know Jesus and the pardon of your sin. Perhaps you know Jesus and the pardon of your sin, but you don't have a church home. We ask that you come at this time. Come and behold him. Yes. Oh, come let us adore him. Oh, come. <coughs> oh, come, let us adore him, cry. Oh, come, oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Him cry the Lord.
may be seated. God bless you. Amen. We give thee but thine own, whatever the gift may be. to the tie box in the rear of the church where you may mail checks only to the church 6201 South Troop, Chicago, Illinois 60636. You may contact your class leader or Dr. Darlene and Brother Walter Reynolds to pick up your tie or drop it off on Thursdays during food pantry hours 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. You may also give through Giveify at www.giveify.com forward slash givers. Greater St. John AME Church. You may send your gift via Zelle app, Greater St. John AME at att.net. All things come to thee, O Lord, and of thine, O Christ. <laughs> St. John for church family. These are your announcements this Sunday, December 31st, 2023. Community health updates. There are new strands of COVID-19 as well as respiratory viruses and the flu is going around. Please keep up with the recommendations of the CDC and your doctor so you can keep yourself and others safe. For current updates, please visit the city of Chicago Health alerts at www.chicago.gov. Our regular in-person Sunday worship services begin at 1030 at Greater St. John AME Church, 6201 South Troop, Chicago, Illinois, 60636. Also on our Zoom app, the meeting ID is 814-2933-2060, passcode GSJ2020. To call in, dial 312-626-6799. Meeting ID 814-2933-2060 pound. Passcode 426-8537 pound. We are on YouTube. Please subscribe to Greater St. John YouTube channel. Once we reach 50 subscribers, we'll be able to live stream our worship service. You can view each Sunday's worship experience on YouTube. Please see Brother Joshua Manning, and he will assist you in subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you, the media ministry. Our next evening Bible study and prayer meeting will be Tuesday, January 9th, 2024, 
please mark your calendars. Please join us Saturday, January 6th, 2024 at 10 a.m. for Sabbath School on the Conference Bridge, 774-220-4000, ID 12440. The topic will be Faith and Righteousness. And the scripture will come from Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 through 40. Thank you, Greater St. John and the Church, for your generous hearts and being a blessing to our Angel Tree families. A very special thank you to Sister Pearl Umi and Sister Donetta Manning for coordinating this ministry event, Pastor Glover. Many thanks in advance for your special Advent offering due Sunday, December 31st, 2023, which is today. New Year's Eve worship Sunday, December 31st, 2023 at 2.30 p.m. at Woodlawn AME Church, 6456 South Evans, Chicago, Illinois, 60637. Come join DeMarcus, DeMarcus Baptist Church where Reverend Malcolm Walton, Greta St. John AME Church, Reverend Georgetta Glover, and Woodlawn AME Church, Reverend Dwayne Gary, churches for the end of the year celebration. Exit one year and enter the new year with God. There will be a combined choir. Lunch will be served at noon, from noon to two, and Reverend Georgetta Glover will be the preacher. Sunday, January 7th, 2024, Greater St. John AME will be on its Time Truth Speaks. Reverend Dr. Spencer Leet Sr. Weekly Sunday Radio Show at 9 a.m. on 1390 a.m. Greater St. John has appeared on the show for over 50 years every first Sunday of the new year. The Gospel Choir and Reverend jo Georgetta Glover will be the guests. The Greater St. John Trustee Board needs your help to organize and clear out the kitchen pantry and other closets in the church. Please see trustee, Sister Ruth Cook, to volunteer. Thank you, Pastor Glover. Dates to remember, January 6th, the Mattarese Women's Missionary Society will meet at 11 a.m. on Zoom, Sister Deborah Manning, President. And the January 2024 birthdays are as follows. January 6th, Reverend Curtis Van Johnson, January 6th, Michael Gerard Manning. January 7th, Charles, Brother Charles Reed. January 10th, Brother Andrew Fox. January 10th, Sister Gilda Owens. January 14th, Sister Gwendolyn Hearn. January 22nd, Sister Michaela Taylor. And January 30th, Sister Donetta Manning. Church, this concludes your announcements. Amen, amen, amen. All right, y'all. Wake up, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Hallelujah. Uh, before we continue on to the closing of our worship service, I got a, t a text this morning from Joyce Ellis Johnson, the daughter of Sister Josie Elizabeth Reed Jackson. And it says, Thank you for giving my family the opportunity to honor my mom with so many of her family and friends. Love to you and Greater St. John AME from our family and blessings for a spirit-filled new year. If y'all missed the party, you missed the party. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen, church. Amen. It's so good. God is so good. Let us stand for our closing hymn. Go tell it on the mountain. That's part of the participation. We got to tell somebody. Tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Oh, tell it on. 
on the mountain there Jesus Christ is born go tell After me, I'm still here. I'm still here. Now, unto him that is able to keep us from falling, may the grace, peace, and mercy of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us all, henceforth and forevermore.
come to play it. Okay. Hi, Mr. Hi, how are you? Is it <laughs> Oh, hold on, let me tell you